In this video, I show you two different ways that you can install Windows 10 or any Windows using one of these coming up. What is going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. A ways back, I released a full tutorial on how to install Windows 10 with a USB drive. And if you guys have watched it, we prepared those install files using the media creation tool that you can download from uh, the Windows website. So this video, I wanted to go a little bit more in depth on that because we briefly touched on it in that tutorial, but I wanted to give you guys another kind of like supplemental video or a video that will go in tandem with that tutorial in case you need a little bit more in depth or a secondary option in case the media creation tool doesn't work for you. So we're gonna go ahead and cover that. Again, we're gonna be using the media creation tool with this one. And we're also gonna be using a secondary software called Rufus that we can use to prepare those install files. So let's go ahead and just jump right in. We're gonna start off with uh, the media creation tool first, just because you can use it for a few different reasons. You can use it to either upgrade the PC, you can use it to create the bootable USB through the creation tool itself, or you can also use it to create an ISO file, which you can use a little bit later on. So the first thing that we're gonna do is you're gonna to want to navigate to this website up right here. I will go ahead and post that link in the description for you guys. And then once you've got that page loaded, you're gonna to wanna to click on where it says download tool now. Once you've done that, or once it's finished downloading, you're gonna come down and run that uh, EXE. It's an EXE file called media creation tool. And it's going to give you a US UAC prompt. You're gonna to want to go ahead and click yes. And it's going to fire up the tool itself. You can see right here, if we minimize this window, it's gonna say getting a few things ready. Once it's gone through the getting windows or getting everything ready, you're gonna to want to go through if you want to read all this you can go for it we're just going to go ahead and choose accept and so we're going to go actually choose the second option where it says create installation media using a usb flash drive a dvd or iso file for another pc so we're going to go ahead and choose that radio dial and then we're going to go ahead and click on next select language architecture and edition language edition i'm just going to leave everything as default you're going to want to select what is recommended for you it's probably going to automatically select this for you where it says use the recommended options for this PC, the use the recommended options for this PC selected and click next. The next step is to choose which media you want to use. You will need to have at least an eight gigabyte flash drive in order to continue. You're gonna want to choose USB flash drive, then click on next. From here, you're gonna want to make sure that your device is plugged in and that it's being detected. If you haven't plugged it in yet, feel free to go ahead and plug it in real quick and then click on where it says refresh drive list. Now you can see that I've got a few different removable drives on here. I've got my external hard drive, an external solid state drive, and the one that's labeled drive is my USB flash drive that we're gonna be using for today's demonstration. So what you're gonna want to do is make sure that you're selecting the correct one. Otherwise, if you do select the incorrect one, it will erase the data when it does prepare the install media. So once you've chosen your drive, you're gonna to want to go ahead and click on next. It's again gonna go through getting a few things ready and it's going to start downloading the Windows 10 files and then it's going to install those or create that install media on your USB flash drive. Once the flash drive is ready, you're gonna get this message where it says your USB flash drive is ready and from here you can click on finish it's gonna say setup is cleaning up before it closes and it's gonna disappear. At this point, you can then take this USB drive and follow the tutorial that I've created. And again, I'll link that video up there in the top right hand corner that you can install uh, Windows 10 on your new machine or if you're just reinstalling. The next method that I'm gonna be showing you today is a software called Rufus, and this allows us to take an ISO file and either burn it or create a USB bootable device. So what you're gonna to want to do is navigate over to rufus.ie. Again, link to the website is down in the description in order to download this software. Once you've gone onto the website, you're gonna to want to scroll down here to about where the download, the TAN download box is right there and you're gonna to want to download the latest version. In this case, it's Rufus 3.11. I'm gonna go ahead and click on that. It's going to download it, and you're gonna to want to run that file. So if we run that, you're gonna get, again, a UAC prompt. You're gonna to want to click yes on the UAC. And from here, it's gonna open up software that looks like this, where it has drive properties, device boot. We'll cover this here in just a moment, 
but you're, what you're gonna want to do is have an ISO file in order to use this software. Here's where the media creation tool comes into play once again. If you have the media creation tool, great. You're gonna want to create an ISO file. We'll run through that real quick here in just a moment. If you've skipped ahead to this part of the video, you're gonna want to navigate over to, again, the link in the description that allows you to download the media creation tool. And then you're gonna want to scroll through the steps until you get to choose a media style device. So again, we're gonna go through the setup here. Quick accept, getting a few things ready. Again, what do you want to do? We're gonna click on create installation media and click next. We're gonna leave the recommended options for this PC and click next again. And then instead of choosing the flash drive, you're gonna to want to choose ISO file and once again, click next. It's gonna open up a save location box. We're just gonna save this immediately to the desktop and we'll just call it the Windows 10 ISO. You can name it whatever you want. Just remember what you named it and where you put it for when we go to navigate with Rufus on where to find that ISO file. So we're gonna click on save. Just a quick note, as I was going through editing the video, I realized I forgot to tell you guys, if you had your own ISO file, you can use that one in place of using the one that Media Creation Tool would create. Again, getting a few things ready and it's gonna go through the process of downloading and creating that ISO file so we can come back and use it within the Rufus software. Once that's finished, it'll say burn the ISO file to a DVD. Again, you can do that, or in this case, we're gonna be creating uh, that USB drive. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and click on finish. And again, instead of us cleaning up, now we've got it taken care of, and we're going to be going back to the Rufus software in order to prep uh, that file. So what you're gonna to want to do is choose your device. Again, you're gonna to want to make sure that your USB device is plugged in. And if it's not, you may have to reboot the Rufus software. And then disk or ISO image, it's going, you're gonna to want to make sure that option is selected. And then we're gonna click on select. And this is the part where you're gonna to want to remember where you uh, installed or where you saved that ISO file. So for us, we went through the desktop and we named it the Windows 10 ISO. We're gonna click on that and we're gonna click on open. From here, it's gonna ask your image option. We're going to choose the standard Windows installation uh, if you have any specific scenario where you need to select the windows to go, I'm not sure on the difference between the two. So I would just recommend defaulting to standard windows installation partition scheme. You're going to want to choose the GPT as that is the newer technology. But for any reason, if it's giving you some grief when you're trying to install it, you can choose the MBR which will allow you to choose the BIOS. This is more like a, a legacy setup. So if you're having some trouble with the UEFI, you may want to try the MBR with the target system of BIOS. Otherwise, again, leave it on GPT and leave it on the UEFI non-CSM. Again, you can name it whatever volume label that you like. You're gonna to want to leave the file system to FAT32. That one works just fine, which is default. Uh, cluster size, you can leave to 16 kilobytes, which is also default, and then just click on start when you're ready to go. This warning will pop up, and this is the same thing that I've told you guys before. If there is anything on this drive that you want to save, do not click OK. Make sure you've installed or make sure you've backed up that data somewhere else so you don't lose it. Once you've clicked OK, it's going to erase whatever is on this drive and it's going to overwrite it. So we're gonna go ahead and click okay because there's nothing on this drive that I want. Again, make sure yours is backed up. As you can see, the very first thing, it was real quick, but it said deleting partitions. It's going through the setup files, copying ISO files, and you're gonna want to let this do its thing. Once it's complete, it's gonna say ready, but it's gonna have a green bar that's across. And from here, you can go ahead and click on close. And that is all there is to it. Having both of these options is great in case you're having a issue with one or the other. And of course, if you still are having some trouble, reach out to me in the comments. I will do my very best to get those questions answered for you so we can get your guys' rigs up and running as fast as possible. Anyways, that is going to do it for this week's tech tip. Thank you guys all so much for watching. I certainly appreciate it. I hope you got something out of it and it was useful for you. If you did, be sure to like, share, and subscribe and ring the bell so you guys don't miss out on any type of future uploads. And we will see you on the next one. Peace.